Okay, so I want to take a look at how we can go about adding color and working with the lips. And really, from here, we can apply this to anywhere. We can apply it to the cheeks. We can apply it to the eyes. Um, so we're going to take a look at the lips. I'm going to come on in. I'm going to zoom it on in. And again, I'm going to continue working with selections and also um, with clipping masks. All right, so I begin. I come right into here. Um, and I have this layer here. I'm going to actually delete this layer for a minute. I'm going to delete it. And I am going to make a selection. So again, I'm going to, I can click this one right here. I can also just hit Q. And I know that I'm in quick mass mode. I can see this when I look at my history. So I come on in. I grab my brush. I click. I have black up on top. And again, it's okay if it's not 100% exact we can come in and change it. Now, as I look at my brush too, I have my hardness down. I have my opacity all the way up, but I do have my hardness down. Uh, and there we have it. Okay, going in and out again. To make my brush smaller and bigger, I can use my curly brackets, which is a really awesome thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit Q. Again, I get my quick selection. Beautiful. First thing I want to do is I'm going to work with the levels. I think it's always great to start with that. And now I can see that I have created a selection just of the lips. And I'm going to create, you know, look at how the value is distributed. Excellent. Okay, there we have it. All right, beautiful. Now, what I want to do, I know this is just the lips. I'm going to create a new layer. And now I'm going to control click this layer and I'm going to say to this layer that I'd like it to be a clipping mask. Now what that means is it will affect only what is selected, how I just selected those lips. So what I'm going to do is I've selected this color right here. I'm going to come on in and I'm going to say edit fill and I'm going to fill it with that foreground color. I'm going to hit OK and there we have it. Now it looks a little crazy. Um, what I'm going to do with this layer, I could play around with a bunch of different things. Uh, the one that I think works the best with this is just lowering the opacity. So I'm going to lower the opacity. I'm going to turn it on and off. All right, now again, I'm going to come on in. I'm going to clean this on up. Now, in order to clean this up, I need to be in clicked on to the mask right here when I have white up on top. I'm adding to the selection. When black is up on top, I'm taking away from the selection. So if I come on in over here, I can see I feel like that's kind of hitting the lip a little bit right there. And I can come on in and really come and make this as, as exact as I would like it to be. Changing it up, moving it around, adding to my selection, taking away from my selection. Endless possibilities. I'm going to come in. I'm going to add this white. Actually realizing hmm, I want to take that away. Okay, I'm going to zoom it on in. And turn this on and off. And I can see that I can work with the lips. Maybe you like it before. Maybe you like it after. And come in and do the same for the other sets of lips as well.